this is you can't beans it. And it's not the internet's job to determine if anybody is faking or not. It doesn't help the tech community to fake claim anybody on any level. <coughs> the only thing ha, 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 that will help us is if you report the accounts that you know are obviously faking because they tell you. The only way to tell if somebody is faking is if they tell you. Some people say, oh, I can tell because they look fake and these accounts, they're just hitting their head like that, being all silly. Which, ticks can actually look like that. A lot of ticks look fake, so bleh, mm -mm -mm. they can't look fake because they all look fake. <laughs> if you see one of those hoodies account- mm. If you see one of those hoodie accounts with the people covering their faces and doing ticks, <laughs> they're most likely faking. Um, but don't fake claim them in the comments, just block them. Like, report block and leave don't do anything else no commenting no tagging no nothing obviously some people do fake ticks but it's not your job to determine who's faking and who's not so just report somebody if you think they're faking <laughs> lots of people ask me lily can you hold babies or animals with your ticks wouldn't you just throw them or hit them actually no our ticks calm down a lot when we're holding something important for me that would be an animal or a baby or food or i like chickens Apparently water is not important enough because I will drop water over and over and over again. But things like children's and cats are safe for me to hold because ha 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 my ticks calm down extremely when I'm holding them. If my cat's sitting on my lap and I'm petting them and just chilling, usually my ticks aren't, 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 aren't bad at all. Usually they just go away. So yes, we can hold animals and babies. But this is just my case. It's different from person to person, but I know most people can. Hee <laughs> hee, I like chickens. Some people only can for a little bit, and some people can for as long as they want, so yeah. It's just a case-to-case -case kind of thing. Anyways, I hope this helped. Bye! I like chickens. I don't like chickens, weirdly. I like them the normal amount. I like chickens. Hey, hey Lene, that's a great question. Oh! So, the answer is, it depends on what you have. So if you have, um, let's say, a gluten allergy that c causes you to have ticks when you eat too much gluten, which can happen, then if you stop eating gluten, it, the ticks are usually treated. <laughs> Sometimes people just get wankers. <laughs> Sometimes people would just get ticks for like a year and then they'll go away with an unknown cause. And sometimes um, with pans, it can be treated, which is what I have. Um, if you catch it early enough or if it's not as bad. <laughs> but with me, we don't know if they'll be able to go away yet. So. <laughs> but hi! If it's Tourette's syndrome, then people's ticks do not go away completely. They might get better as you get older, <laughs> which is kind of common, but they'll never go away completely if it's Tourette's syndrome. So it just depends on the cause of the ticks, um, whether you can grow out of them or not. So today I went to the dentist to get bands put in. And I thought that I would share with you how my dentist handled my ticks because it was really nice. So first of all, right when I sat down, I pretty much told her that I had ticks. I just said, if I make a weird sound or if I twitch or something, or if I say something weird, it's my ticks, it's not me and I'm not meaning to. And she just said, Did it did it. <laughs> no, she didn't say that. She said, um, okay, I understand. And if you ever need to tick, <laughs> while I'm working in your mouth, you just tell me and I'll let you. And she was really nice and made me feel really accepted and comfortable and understood. So if you're working with anybody with ticks, or anybody with a disability in general, just be nice and be understanding and let us know that we are free to be who we are. So thank you. I'm guessing that what you were trying to ask was do ticks sometimes blend in with my normal voice and it just like doesn't even sound like a tick? <laughs> yes, that happens all, all the time. <laughs> Especially when I'm tired, my ticks tend to sound more like my normal voice. So I'll just say, shut the heck up instead of saying, shut the heck up oh, like so it doesn't sound like a tick but it still is he <laughs> my sister and my mom can usually still tell because i'm just not a me person and i don't go around telling people to shut up and calling things gay so yeah mm. yes my ticks can sound exactly like my normal voice so if somebody says something was a tick believe them hi i love you Boop. although most of the time my ticks are either in an accent or a higher voice or a weird voice so you'll usually be able to tell but if you can't just ask <laughs> I love the little heart at the end of this comment. <laughs> Anyways, no, I have never actually stabbed myself with eating utensils specifically. <laughs> I have stabbed myself with a pencil and I have stabbed myself with scissors. Mostly in the hands and on my thighs, like I'll take a mechanical pencil and I'll go like that on my leg repeatedly. <laughs> 
And one time my sister was holding a pair of scissors, like the blade up and latex went bat and cut pretty deep on my hand. I don't know. There's a scar. Probably can't see it. Yeah, it's way too small to see. Be ha! So I haven't stabbed myself with eating utensils, but I have stabbed myself with other things. Hmm. Fun, fun. Hmm. Very commonly asked questions about people with threats. Question number one, can you feel it when you tick? Or are you aware when you tick? Yes, I'm aware when I have a tick and it feels pretty much just like I'm making myself do the tick, but I'm not, if that makes sense. Question number two is what does a tick feel like? For me, it's comparable to a yawn. And if you wanna know what it's like to try to suppress a tick, try to yawn with your mouth closed and swallow at the same time. That's about what it feels like for me. And number three, do you tick when you're not talking? Yes, I do tick when I'm not talking. I'll have vocal and motor tics when I'm not talking, so I'll just be sitting on my bed doing whatever I do, and out of nowhere, I'll just yell something random. Leave any more questions you have in the comments, and have a good day. Bye. Are your tics caused by Tourette's or Pans? Sorry for the confusion, but my tics are caused by Pans, not Tourette's syndrome. The reason I say Tourette's syndrome sometimes, or when I say tics, is because I do have a tick disorder caused by pans. Sometimes I say Tourette's syndrome because it is more well known and people know what I'm talking about. So if I meet somebody in person um, and I don't want to give them my whole medical background story and explain a bunch of stuff, I just say, do you know what Tourette's syndrome is? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. So I say that because it's easier sometimes. So yeah, but my tics are caused by pans, not Tourette's syndrome. Where did the tics come from? Are they something you've heard before or are they just random? They're actually a little bit of both. A lot of the times uh, when I hear something, my tics will repeat it and then that will just become a tic. And a lot of the times I have no idea where my tics come from and they're just completely r r random. For, 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 for example, the BB beans. The beans tic is a tic that I heard and now I have a uh, a uh, uh. But I have another tic where I go ding dong, it's your mom or just ding dong. And I have no idea where that came from. It literally just said it one day as a tick and it just became a tick. So it's completely random sometimes. Ah, hey, thank you for your question. Okay, so we, we died two years ago. So we can't control our ticks, but we can kind of suppress them sometimes. But a lot of the times I die. But a lot of times suppressing doesn't, 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 doesn't doesn't even work because sometimes we don't even get a warning before we ticks to have a chance to try to, su to suppress them. So never assume that somebody can control their ticks or that they even knew what they were gonna say or do, 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 do that's gay, ha! Or say or do. Hmm. So every once in a while, we might get a slight chance to to up bean. We might get a slight chance to control our ticks, um, but a lot of the times it's also painful and, and it physically hurts us to mm, try to hold our ticks in. Mm. So like as I'm making this video, I'm trying to suppress my v -v vocal ticks so that it can actually make sense, but that's causing me to have a lot of really tense neck ticks and it kind of hurts. So not really. Hmm.